Hey folks, Will Holder with William Holder Realty here. Hey, I had a great conversation with some really good friends of mine, some old neighbors, they were over and uh, we were just talking about, you know, moving, moving up, finding a bigger home, things like that. And this might sound uh, counter uh, intuitive for a real estate agent to say, but you gotta say it, sometimes it just makes more sense to make your current home bigger than finding a bigger home. Um, and that's the decision you have to make. You have to look at the numbers and you have to see what makes sense. Right now, homes are selling at an all time high. Neighborhoods are selling way higher than they're, they used to in our region, especially, especially in the Northeast. I posted something about this recently that homes in the Northeast are selling for significantly more than uh, they would have, and they're going off the market a lot faster than they would have because of low inventory. There's no homes to sell. So low inventory, low interest rates, high demand, prices are going to go up. So what you might be able to get for your home would be great. If you sold your home right now, you would make a killing. You would do really well as a seller. The problem is if you're looking to upsize in a reasonable price difference, you know, if you're trying to go from a 250 home to a 350 or a 400, that 350 or 400 home might be 450 right now or even more. Um, the home, you know, that three bedroom to that four bedroom might be a lot more expensive than you want to pay towards a home. And that's okay. That's just something you have to make a decision with based on your finances. So if you're sitting down and you're looking at your home and you're thinking, I love my home, I love my neighborhood, but I need more space for me, for my family, for whatever reason. Um, it's not the worst idea to start looking at potentially what a renovation can cost you. I'm not a contractor. I have no interest in telling you to add to your home or whatever it is. But if values in your home, in your neighborhood are going up naturally based on the demand for homes right now, that means if you made your home bigger than the average home in the neighborhood, your value will sustain it. You know, if you're a homeowner and you've been in your home 7, 8, 10, 15, 20 years, you know, not uh, you, that you just moved in two, three years ago, but, you know, you've been there a while and you've paid down the equity in the home and you've made some, um, you know, an investment in yourself by paying down that equity. Now you can say, okay, my three bedroom home, if I sold it today, I might get 225, 230. 240, you know, it's some, it depends on the neighborhood you're in. Some neighborhoods that's 400,000, some neighborhoods that's 150, some neighborhoods that's 250, 300. But you look at the homes that are larger, that are selling for the four bedroom homes that are selling for 450, well, why spend $450,000 on that home? When you could do a renovation, you can build the value into your current home and you can stay there and be happy. You make it the way you want to make it. You make the home the way you want to make it. You, uh, you, you use the equity in your home to do it. That's the other thing. Or you say, well, that's great. You know, $100,000 renovation. How am I going to do that? There's great loan products out there for that. There's a 203K mortgage that you could use the own equity in your home to do that refinance. If you've paid down your mortgage enough, get a home equity loan. Interest rates are super low right now. Do a cash out refinance. Go to your lenders and say, hey, I have all this equity. I plan on doing this work to my home. Um, I, you know, you're probably paying a higher interest rate than you would get right now. So it'll be less for you to, to borrow because the rates are low. You can use the equity in your own home to do it. So you don't have to use your hard earned cash or your savings to do this. Um, and your payments won't change that much if you're doing a relatively small renovation because the interest rates are lower. You could probably even shrink your mortgage from uh, fifth, from from 30 years to 15 years and get a lower rate with the higher balance and keep your payments close to being the same that they were, which is a great thought when you think of it to have your home paid off in 15 years. So I just wanted to put that out there. You know, I've been talking to a lot of people and right now, it might not be the time to sell if you don't have that perfect option or that perfect option is out of reach. Right now, it might be the time to cash in on your own equity, the equity you were, you've worked hard to build in your home um, to do a renovation and make your home even better. Uh, if you have any questions, if you even want me to run comparables to show you that that makes sense for your market, I'm happy to do so. Feel free to reach out 484-744-4053. Thank you.